Hello everyone, so this has got to be the yellow auto ship. I'm pretty certain yeah, that is. I know a lot of people already got theirs. Of course, mine has to travel and travel and travel before I even... It feels even smaller than usual. So, let's have a look and see if it is. See, it's got a little tweak in it right there. Let's see what the last one is numbered. And it says 15. All right. Let's take a closer look at what's in here. That way. And, um... Fifth, I'm going to be going out of town. I don't know how I'm going to be gone for. How long I'm going to be gone for. Yet. <coughs> but, you know, it's um, family stuff. And sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And so, um, I might just go ahead one day and just pre-record a bunch of these. And to use... So we'll see. I'm not sure yet, but let's have a look at what's in here. Okay, double swing card. And so we have, it looks like two round circles. I don't want to be able to see the back end. Okay, and it's supposed to, I think, kind of move on its own as you move the card. Then we have a pop-out heart card. That'll be good for, um, like, Valentine and stuff, right? Anniversary, stuff like that. Diagonal double gatefold card. <laughs> so... It's a double gatefold, which means okay. it's going to fold this way. It's not going to be folded very good, but you'll get the picture. The gatefold, right? And then it'll fold this way again. But, of course, to where it'll, it'll meet. You know, it'll still close. So this is basically, yeah, the same size. So you would, you know, put the paper in triple, score it in thirds. That way when you fold it back, you only have a half that. And that would be the diagonal and then of course it's cut at a diagonal right heart gift boxes those look cute um i don't want to look at that template for sure yeah so it's got a little extra piece here on the side. It looks like there's two sizes. So that must be why it showed two on the front. Center stepper card. Well, that's kind of cute. I think it is. It's the steps in here. Yeah. Oh, I think that one's cute. Kind of looking forward to that. I wonder if we have any shaped cards in here. Fag. Flag fold card. So, 
these all stick out. There it is, unfolded. That's going to be interesting. Door or window shaped card. Cute. Cute. That is cute. I mean, I suppose that's something we could do on our own, right? We don't necessarily need a template for that. But... Double pocket fold card. So, I wonder if... Hmm... I don't know, we'll find out. Recessed folded card. Trifold card. That might be cute too. Yeah. That might be pretty cute. Roll up gift box. So, they've been using this one a lot. Um, but we'll do it. <laughs> Art Deco screen card. They already did a screen, right? Now they had to do, it looks like a, Small, large, small, large. We'll see. <coughs> yeah, we'll see. Fat, fat, oh, flat fold. I don't know why my tongue don't want to work today. Flat fold box card. Hmm. Interesting. Starfold card. That also looks very interesting. This is what I'm looking at. That corner. Bench fold card. That is cute. How do you fold that stuff though? That's what I always wonder. How does it fold? I mean, that would just be adorable, but we'll see. That's number 15. That's it. So, do we want to start? I already did one template today. I don't think we need to do another template, but I grabbed a piece of paper from there, and this was here, and there's toppers on it of course these are all words let's see what we've got I was sure there was toppers in here yeah but they're all just sentiments basically whoops let's do we're gonna do a card I don't care out of this pad. We're just gonna get an envelope if we can, if I got an envelope here to get. Hmm. Here we go. It is four and a quarter by five and a half. Let's pick a paper. Um, da -dum. I kind of like that right there. The little bees flying. This pad, does anybody know where it's from? It seems like it has fall and winter. Like somewhere they combined 
but then we also have live life in full bloom and stuff like that. Like I'm missing maybe that spring, spring. Or summer. I don't know. Alright, I'll just use this one. This is pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take and I'm going to mat it. So let me see. I've got like a gold. Does that help? I don't think so. I think it needs to be a darker color than that. Oh, about. Oh, oh, a green. I'm sure this will look good. Yes. That's going to work. So, let me get my paper trimmer. Um... All right. Now I said the card was what? Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. About five and a half. So that's the scoring one. I want to use psh, this way. Four and a quarter and a little bit less. Four and a quarter. Five and a half is here and just a little bit less. That's kind of small, but how does it fit? Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. This, I don't know why. I don't know why I flipped it. It's the same on both sides. <laughs> Oh, well, just out of habit, you know. All right. And this will be the quickest card. Maybe in my history. <laughs> okay. Now I want to take a corner. So look and see how do you want these are two different ones even though they look the same. They are different. Um... I kind of like one's flying too, one's leaving, one's there, so I think I'll use this one. And that's going to be pretty on there. So I'm going to go down, let's see, four and a quarter. Let me see where this takes it. Four and a quarter is here. I need five and a half length, don't I? I need four and a quarter width-wise. So here's four and a quarter. Then I went one down for the mat. Now how much do I need to go down? A quarter of an inch? Hmm. 
This brings me a full quarter of an inch. Let me try this. It's gonna kinda cut that, no, it's not gonna cut that V off good. Okay, five and a half, and down one, and then a quarter of an inch is there. I got it the wrong way. Good thing I didn't cut, huh? Uh, five and a half, and I went down one, and a quarter of an inch is there. Okay. Let's check it out. Let's see if I did it right. If I cut it right both ways. Is the border even? Not really. Okay. I like that. So, I am going to leave that, and I'm going to put some glue after watching everybody. On HSN yesterday with the glitter paste. And so I'm like, I'm not gonna play with glitter paste today, you know? But I had some things I had to do and I didn't end up with time to really do anything at home. You know, when you have appointments and they're in the middle of the day, it just kind of wrecks. Like, you don't have time in the morning to do anything. And by the time you get home, it's a little late to start, like, anything big. So, that's the kind of day I've had, one of those. Excuse me. Okay. So. I like this one here. Look, it's even. It's even um, bordered in the same colors. I am going to fussy cut. It out of course and I'm thinking that I might leave some of the yellow border so that I can back it with some of the green again All right so it would Hopefully have like a double matted look to it. Sort of, kind of. That's what I'm thinking. And I don't want that point on there. If I do a little bit of different size border around, I was thinking it might give it a whimsical kind of look, but I read too late, didn't do it there when I thought of it, so kind of too late. For that.
There we go. And now I'm just going to go ahead and glue it on the green and then mat it in the green so it would have kind of a double matted look. Because it's matted in kind of a green now. So I feel like if I just did green around the green, it might look kind of funny. This should look pretty decent. I'm going to kind of hold it in place a second before I cut it. Okay. And now let me just cut it out. I'll show you what I was talking about. So if I do this and then make these really big, it might kind of give it a whimsical look. That's what I was thinking. Come way out. <laughs> That might have been too much. <laughs> Way out. So you can always cut it off, but you can't put it back on once you cut it. So when you think about something like that, try it. You can always, you know, trim it back. more oh. I think I didn't cut it the same all the way around so I can't do it maybe just a little bit I could let's see so this one kind of already smaller What do you think? No. We might as well just go ahead and cut it all the way. I didn't like it. <laughs> so. Could have done a bigger man altogether, though, huh? Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna grab dimensionals. Uh, that needs to just go in the trash right there. But these can be cut. No dies. I can't have cleared it. No dies. Nothing. 
just some paper and a top, a little sentiment topper. And I have a sweet card, I think. Now, if I want to, hold on, I'm going to show you. If I want to give it a little more, you know me, I very rarely just keep it nice and simple like this. But let me get this done and on, and then we will talk a minute. Okay. That on. Okay, now if I want, there's some bees here, so I can take that because that bee looks a lot like that bee. You just not seeing. I could take that and put that on top, decoupage it. Um, I could add a bee. So, yeah, I could do a flower. Um, that looks like the same flower, so that must be the same flower. Of course, it's cut off a very inopportune spot. This one's not even on there. I don't think that one's that one. No. Nope. And it's not that one. So, it'll match. But if I had another paper in here like this, I could, you know, look through here and see if any of these flowers match. I must have already done one of these. I wonder. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. Okay, so it's a little unbalanced. Um, truly, it is unbalanced. Maybe if I hadn't stuck that up so high, it wouldn't have been so bad. But it is unbalanced. Let's see if some new bow drops will help it. Yeah, that color don't work. What about orange? No. How about hmm. looking looking. This, let's see, what color is this? Caramel cream. That might go, it's a crystal drop. This might be the way. This is a vintage drop. Something that looks like vanilla milkshake. Like vanilla milkshake. And then there's brown. It's called Metallic Dirty Bronze. Let's try it. On a different piece of paper first. And let's see. Oh, yeah. I like that with them beads. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm going to go one, two, 
three, four, five. And I usually don't put so many. I usually do three. If I do five, I usually break them up or whatever. But this looked so out of scale that I figured I would put five in there just to give it some balance and it helps. Now that bee looks like he's going to that dot. What is that? Maybe I need to check it out. All right, everybody. So there is the um, yellow template and a quick card. No, I didn't use a template because I was worried about time and the length of the video. And if the video is too long, then I don't know. But anyways, there we go. All right, if you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Everybody have a blessed day. Thanks for joining me, and please join me again. Bye-bye now.